What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am Augustine Versace. This is O'Neill Media, and you are awesome. If you are here, you are part of the fam. Give me that. Alright, I'm rocking with you. If you are not part of the fam, what are you waiting on? Go ahead, like, subscribe, ring that bell notification so you can be back here every time I drop a video. Now let's get into it. Alright. Man, I got NBA Young Boys in a little bit of hot water right now. And I'm going to let you guys know what we know as far as what went down and how things are looking going forward. Now, we're going to start off with saying a few months ago, maybe, yeah, a few months ago last year, NBA Young Boy was actually at a video shoot in Louisiana. And at that video shoot, the police ran up, said they had a tip. They went in, there was guns. Now, everybody there was locked up. Nobody caught any charges. Everybody was released. That right there was kind of fishy, if you do ask me. And what happened after that was no charges were pressed. He was free to go about his business. But, like I said, a little bit on the fishy side. Now, we're going to fast forward to a few days ago. He was in L.A., Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, shooting some b-ball right at the school. But he was driving and the feds ran up on him while he was driving. Well, NBA young boy being the young boy that he is, did not want to stick around. So, jet it. Took off. Took him on a high speed chase. Well, not sure if it was high speed, but he took him on a chase. Whether it was high speed, low speed, and he was doing his OJ thing, he took them on a chase. Now, when the feds caught up to NBA young boy... He said, nah, did a car wheel straight up out of that car vehicle and he took off. I'm talking about my man hit the dash, take K style on him. And the police couldn't catch him, scared a few fences, got up out that gym. Almost. Actually, they sent the dogs after him. And when they sent the dogs after him, one thing they made sure to say in their report was, the dog did not tear a hole in young boy's ass. How true that is, really don't know. But no medical records could be found, so maybe they're telling the truth. I don't trust the police, but that's besides the point. Now, he's locked up, waiting trial, so we thought. Nobody really thought he was going to be getting out because it's the feds we're talking about. The feds don't play. They don't come after you unless they already have the evidence. This is not the state police. No, no, no. They come. They are thorough. They leave no stone unturned. Trust me, if the feds are coming to get you, the feds are coming to get you. You feel me? But a little bit of shimmer of light, a little bit of hope in the horizon is that NBA Youngboy was actually given a bond by a judge. Now, he's not out of hot water yet. He still has to face this case. But maybe he gets to go home, reconvene. Get to do some things, make a little money, get affairs in order. Because when affairs come for you, there is a slight chance that you'll be able to get out of it. But most times, nah, son. Like a 95% conviction rating or something like that. Trust me, when affairs are coming, they, they pretty much got you, man. But with that, him getting a chance to get out, there's another little thing in the road that's going to keep him from getting out, which is... Louisiana courts saying that they contest that he shouldn't be able to get out. Like, he took off on the police. He is the definition of a flight risk. And I really don't think so. Just probably, like, like just be honest. If the people came and rolled up on you, you would be like, fuck this, I'm out. Until you figure out what's going on. Now, we did find out that it's not a RICO case so far. It's actually just... A gun possession case and what that more than likely means is just that they have proof that guns were transported from one state to another when it goes from state to state it's no longer state it becomes federal it's within their jurisdiction so i'm thinking nobody got arrested that first time and and kept because the feds went to the state and said hey we got them don't worry about them let us skate trust us we gonna get them in the future so i think it was just them 
and you know the roosters coming home to whatever the fucking saying is man but yeah so nba young boy hopefully will have his bond upheld and he'll be able to get out and get some things in order and maybe just be able to kick it at the house man and uh i really do wish you the best of luck nba young boy man i am a fan not the biggest fan don't get me wrong but i am a fan of the music i'm a fan of the transparency within the music and me being from the hood myself man i just know sometimes it takes a while to get things right not to mention when he's moving from place to place yeah he's a felon he's not supposed to have guns but if we're going to be completely transparent and honest there's a lot of people that want to do something to NBA young boy and i'm not talking about put hands on them. there are a lot of people that would love to do something terrible to NBA young boy and truth be told those guns are needed I do want to go about saying once a person has done their time once a person has put in the effort to make a change in their life and they have been released and freed they should actually get their rights back I don't give a fuck what they did if jail is supposed to be about rehabilitation if you know everything that's associated with jail probation uh, being released just all of that is supposed to go into making that person a better person. Then once a person has served their time and done what they needed to do in the eyes of the court, they should have a clean slate. They should be reintroduced back into the population and given a clean slate because they did the time for their crime. That is how I feel. Now, mind you, NBA Youngboy was on a 10-year suspended sentence that he was not done with. So, yes, he was not supposed to have guns, but in all honesty... Those guns needed to be around him. It doesn't matter if he has security because, like I said, he is an extraordinary person. There are extraordinary situations that he finds himself in, especially within the hip-hop genre of music. There's a lot of ill will that people wish upon each other. So, with that being said, I really hope he gets through this thing, all right? And uh, as far as you guys... Y'all already know what it is, man. Like, subscribe, ring that bell notification so you be part of the fam. All right? And I'll see you guys in the next video. As usual, peace. I love you guys.